On the count of three, everyone lift their boxes. One. Please be a chicken underneath that box. Two. I want to see something that I can turn into dessert. Three. I'm hoping for some real meat. Lift. Surprise. <laughs> Happy birthday. Balloons? Really? Balloons, a fixture at every birthday party. And no birthday party would be complete without a cake. I can't believe it. It's my son JJ's birthday today. Your challenge today is to create the most imaginative and delicious birthday cake you've ever had. Christopher, he's going to come out swinging and swinging hard. And birthdays aren't just about cake and balloons. They're also about gifts. And here's one for all of you. In tonight's mystery box, we're choosing two winners. Wow. Both will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. I have not won one challenge outright. I'm ready to knock everything out of the park. It's JJ's birthday. I'm putting it, everything into it. You will have one hour and 30 minutes to plan, bake, and decorate a stunning four-layer birthday cake. I think I made a two-layer cake before, and that was pushing it, so four layers, pretty challenging. You'll also have access to a beautiful specialty pantry full of the finest fruits, nuts, and sweet decorations. Everything you need to make a perfect birthday cake that tells us something about you. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir! sir. Your time starts now. Chocolate. So the challenge today is they have to make a birthday cake that represents who they are. After seeing what's in the specialty pantry, there is no excuses for a boring cake here. Ah, I've never made a cake. Baking, it's just so far out of my comfort zone. Anyone see gold powder? Birthday cakes are what inspired me to start baking. I know with this dish, I'm going to wow the judges. Making a layer cake, it's more difficult than it sounds. There's a lot that can go wrong. If you don't cream your eggs and your butter properly, you're gonna have raw patches of flour. Everything has to be incorporated to have a nice, light and airy cake. John, can I have one of your bananas? I don't enjoy cake. Favorite desserts as a child was going for banana splits, so I'm, I'm actually gonna make a banana split cake. I work. Where's the piping bags? I love a great cake, nice and moist, tasty, but it's the icing I look forward to. The beauty of having icing is that you can actually cover a lot of your mistakes. It's a baker's trick they don't know. Never happened. Michael. Hello, Chef Alvin. So you're doing like blue suede, blue velvet? Honestly, it looks like blue carpet. Definitely will not taste like carpet. What are you doing? So I'm gonna alternate between uh, cream and blueberry filling so that the blueberry filling isn't too rich. So you're gonna do four layers in this thing? I'm gonna try. Is that all the cream you're gonna put in? Oh, I can put more if you like. You know, when you cut it up, you wanna see the layers. I wanna see nice thick layers because it makes the cake rich and delicious. You got it, Chef. Well, good luck. Thank you so much. One minute! Oh, no. You don't have much time, actually, though. I'm gonna make this work no matter what. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, Ooh. one. Hands off your cake. Tonight, the judges are choosing two mystery box winners. This is the best cake that I've ever made. I think I nailed it. Both will receive a huge advantage in the upcoming elimination challenge. What I'm most proud of is I was able to channel being a dad on this cake. Today, we've been so impressed with your creations, we're gonna be calling up four of you. The first cake that we wanna call up was made by a home cook who honored this challenge with innovation and color. This cake looks like a soccer field. I just wish the judges would try it. Please come up to the front. Michael. Whoa! I'm cooking cakes, baby. I'm cooking cakes! This is a blue suede cake with blueberry filling, a little bit of lemon zest, some graham crackers on the side to give a little bit of texture and taste. And I topped it off with some very fine sugar sprinkles. So when I cut through a cake, what I want to see is all the layers all connected. I don't want to see any air pockets in between the icing and the cake. 
Is that what I'm going to see here? I think so. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Thank you, chef. Well, let's try this. It's a very good cake. It's so moist. I love the blueberry that's running through here. It looks like the kind of cake you would buy in a, in a bake shop. Great job. Just go to the front. The second cake we'd like to see was made with a level of technique and confidence that was nothing short of breathtaking. And that cake belongs to Christopher. Please bring up your cake. This cake really shows off who I was and who I am now. Today, I've done an opera cake, coffee praline buttercream, ganache between the layers, and it's layered all on top of a chocolate sponge. Wow. This is a league of its own. My mouth is watering right now. Thank you, chef. It all oozes out between the layers. It tells me that it is a, such a soft and delicate pastry cream. Beautifully balanced. Big hit of chocolate up front. A touch of that coffee comes in. And then just a slight crunch from the praline that you pureed up. For me, it's best in class. <laughs> Thank you, chef. Chocolate hits you, and then the coffee comes. And after that, textures of the hazelnut. Definitely one of the best cakes I've ever had. <laughs> Thank you, chef. I'll be happy for you to do my birthday cake. Please stand down the front. The third cake we like to see was inspired by a loved one. Please come up. David. The chocolate birthday cake, Philadelphia cream cheese peanut butter uh, layers, and then I covered the whole thing with pretzels and the roasted peanuts. It's my little boy's birthday today, so I put everything into it. It's really hard to get a cake that perfect. Rigid, smooth construction. You got the peanut butter, you got the cream cheese, all these comfort things that your son loves. This cake is about love. Thank you. Beautifully cooked sponge, enough sweetness, a little saltiness from the peanut and pretzels. In fact, that flavor is, is quite sophisticated and you can't go wrong with peanut butter. Top marks all around for a stunning cake. But when it comes to spelling? Yeah, I'm not known for my spelling. I think that says hap. It made us all very hap. <laughs> the fourth home cook we're calling up is... Andrew. My cake actually looks pretty great, but this is all an unknown inside this thing banana split cake. I made just a simple white cake, buttercream, and I flavored it with strawberries, chocolate, and bananas. It looks incredible from the outside, but on the inside, I want to see a cake that stays together. Yes. Yeah, so you kind of get a bit of a challenge here. You're missing some sponge here. Well, let's try this. And all these flavors and textures that you have going on in here work really well. It's a very good cake. 